Admiral's personal log, date June 6th, 1940. I almost hate to admit it, but the destroyers, as designed by the Ministry of Extraordinary Maritime Engineering, actually work. They have proven to be capable gunboats for convoy raiding tasks. Their 4 inch guns are sufficient. One of their biggest flaws, however, is that they have very limited visibility. This means that, even though the destroyers are small, they still get detected before they detect the enemy. Sadly, there isn't much that can be done about that, but having them operate in tandem with a more capable spotter does work. We've gotten our first look at the British light and heavy cruisers. Both of these classes possess a frightening amount of torpedo launchers. This gives the British the capability of effectively zoning out an area that my ships simply cannot operate in. It does seem that the British captain in command of these cruisers haven't quite completed basic training, though. They launched torpedoes without any regard for the safety of friendly ships. They've even been reported to torpedo their own protectees. My destroyer captains aren't really any better. I've had to relieve one of my captains from command because he was directly responsible for the sinking of a friendly destroyer. The overall success of these destroyers, despite friendly fire incidents, gives me a bit more confidence in the abilities of Meme to design warships. We have yet to see their more unusual designs be tested in a battle situation, though. Hey guys, still here, and welcome back to episode 3 of this Meme campaign. We have our first battle, which involves one of the battleships. This is the battleship Turpitz, but not as you might know it. It's a 54,500 ton battleship, and it's escorted by a whole slew of destroyers because I have a ton of those. We're coming up against the Bedford, the Serpent, the Vindictive, the Yarmouth, and three destroyers, the Derwent, the Orford, and the Swordsman. The Turpitz has 18-inch guns, a quad triple, uh, yeah, a quad turret of them. I intend to use that to deal with the Bedford as well as the, the light cruisers. Having the destroyers face off against their destroyers. Now, my destroyers are known to have issues with detection. They cannot spot the enemy very well. But I am expecting that the Turpitz is capable of detecting them. Because the Turpitz does have radar. Uh, yeah, radar generation 2. And stereoscopic rangefinder 5. This ship, uh, while it looks absolutely silly could very well prove to be an interesting match for heavy cruisers and light cruisers alike because 18 inch guns will punch holes in anything and 9 inch guns will also punch holes in lights and heavies but faster, um, albeit they are seriously smaller holes because this is 78.2 damage, this is 1600. Load the high explosive, slow down to full speed and turn towards the enemy. We're going to make sure that I don't have any sort of friendly fire nonsense like before. Um, everybody's in some sort of screening shit setup. That's not what I want. I very much still feel that the game needs a way to, before the battle, set up your formation. That would make your life a lot easier. Turpitz has spotted something. How far away? Good lord. Okay. 28 kilometers away, the heavy cruiser has been detected. My accuracy is a mere 0.8%. But, that's okay. Because I know that that heavy cruiser is capable of lobbing shells my way. And it's not that much that I'm worried about. <clears throat> it's the torpedoes that I'm worried about. Turpids does have hydro and is capable of detecting some torps, but I'd rather not get close. Not if I don't have to. Destroyers, if you could sort yourselves out, that'd be great. Yeah. Derp. <laughs> you people wanted more cinematics? <laughs> Here we are. This is your cinematic, right here. Raise the fourth barrel. Fire. There you go. That's the turpits, but not as you know it. Coming up to the nine inchers. 
Did I even put anything on this turn? No. Just don't get behind this ship, please. If you don't mind. Ooh! Light cruisers I can kill. Well, eventually, because they're still way, way out. Destroyers are capable of detecting their torps with hydro. Um, I'm going to have to try and keep these as a picket line of sorts. 20 kilometers out. Now that's some detection right there. Yeah, we're spotting the DDs as well. Maintain fire on the heavy cruiser. That's what I want to hit. Slow down. They need to get close to me. I don't need to get close to them. Fifteen clicks out. Let's have these guys try and intercept the heavy cruiser. As we have seen, just punch a couple of holes in them and they do flood out pretty quick. Sadly, they're faster than my DDs. So it's not going to be easy to catch that. <clears throat> What's the 9-inch range? 19 kilometers. Right over to starboard. Oh, we hit something. With the 8-inch gun? Wow. We hit their destroyer, which has instantly started flooding and lost an engine. Let's see, is that... Two fivers, a triple four, 12 twos, and a quintuple launcher on the stern. Considering it's looking in my direction, it could very well be in range. There it is, 11 clicks out. Let's just try and hunt that destroyer down. I want the rest of you to go after that heavy cruiser still. Secondaries on that. Let's see how good their flex tape solution is. Oh, another hit. Good lord. Look at you be effective with your 8 inch guns. You don't even have that many. You got two. But they're already extremely accurate. Nice. That's the way to do it. That's their light cruiser formation. Ooh, that was close. I thought that was going to be another hit. <clears throat> 15 clicks out. This DD has extremely long range torpedoes. We are definitely in range. Another hit? From a 9. Nice. Remove as many torpedo threats as you can. And in this battle, that basically means hit anything. Because they're all deadly. Let's just send a torpedo salvo their way. It doesn't necessarily need to hit. It just needs to break that formation to force them to change direction. V-15 launched. Anybody seen a torpedo yet? Hold on a minute. What are you targeting? Oh, your main guns. Yeah, your 18 inches are still trying to target the heavy cruiser. The rest of them, insofar as they're in range, have opened up against the DD. That one, the Derwent. The Derwent torpedoed the battleship. Okay, that's going to be... Whoa! Good a time as any to start turning around. You guys are going to go on torpedo uh, avoidance, and so are you. And you. You know what? We can do a beautiful cross torp here. I can try and catch the heavy cruiser with the battleship. Torpedo in the water. Several torpedoes in the water. Loads of torpedoes in the water. I was wondering why the V2 was doing all sorts of fancy acrobatics. Now I know. Smoke up. We're pretty close. 
show me that you can dodge this. Your control. Are you just? S it was like the thing was moving sideways for a minute. Yeah, well done. You dodged that. Torpedoes away from the 12 against the light cruiser formation, which is still en route. Led by the Yarmouth. That's the 15. <clears throat> so far, I'm well ahead on damage. And I wouldn't be surprised if I can keep that up. One set away against the Yarmouth, the other set away against this light cruiser, please. No, that's a DD. Hold on. The other one against the Yarmouth as well. That launcher right there. Steady as she goes. Dude. Target. Oh, we hit him. Heavy cruiser Bedford's been hit and we knocked out both engines. Beautiful. Okay, V5, turn back. Nobody move. I dropped me torps. And I don't trust you idiots not to start torpedoing each other. Yarmouth. Changing direction. Which is sad because I had a whole bunch of torpedoes lined up. Turpits, how are you doing? Torpedo here. Oh, uh, you're fine. <clears throat> Nothing too bad. Okay. We're still trying to blow holes in this heavy cruiser, but knocking out both engines on the Bedford is fantastic. Because with that, that 38 knot cruiser is suddenly not going so fast. I'm oh, sorry, 37 knot cruiser. This could turn out to be a pretty long fight. Derwent is still badly damaged. The Orford, somewhat. Many bulkheads, okay. Flooding. Where is the Vindictive going? You're not that Vindictive, apparently, because you're running away. Smoke. Flooding on the Orford and the Derwent. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, I'd sent the V8 to go after the Bedford, which it has now accomplished, but it was supposed to have torpedoes on it, and it doesn't, because <clears throat> I launched those against the Yarmouth. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus. Yeah, I imagine that is a bit hard to dodge, even for the almighty AI. Look at this. That's a lot of damage. And it's coming at the turpits as well. Um, I think the best way, if we have the engine efficiency, is to steam out of here as best as we can. High speed. Do we know what sort of speed those torpedoes have? 49. Sorry, 47. 48. Yeah, it was definitely a combination of the Yarmouth and Serpent. Serpent also ate a torpedo. Okay. Let's hope that the Turpets can speed up in time. Yeah, Serpent's down. The other light cruiser, the Yarmouth, also got torpedoed. She's dead. Nice. Oh, this is going to be torpedo beats. 18, what are you... No! Dumbass. What are you doing? What are you doing? V5. I don't know. Find some way to go. Turpets, 17 knots. Increase speed to flank. I'm very appreciative of both light cruisers being dead. This thing only has anti torp 2. We're going to have to keep speeding away. 18 knots. I think we're safe. V5, however, might have some issues. Where does one begin? Um, you. Just 
go do destroyer things. I have a battleship to manage. Yeah, you're fine. Jesus Christ, look. Ow. <clears throat> the of torpedoes here is insane. It's probably 40 torpedoes from a both... A double spread from those light cruisers. <clears throat> Sadly, they're both dead, but the Vindictive is still alive. Yet, is not launching weapons at me at the moment. Come on, there's a turret there, a turret there, here, here, and here. I need this one to pass, I need that one to pass. And then I can go hard over to starboard and dodge that one. It passed. Okay. We have some... Whoa, whoa, whoa! We got some serious Greyhound moments here. Why are you guys not done eliminating the target? Why is the Derwin still alive? This is taking way too long, guys. Flooding on Derwent. Everybody save your torpedoes. Next target is the Orford. I'm not sure what the Vindictive is doing. There we go. She's opened up with her two-inch guns. I would love to torpedo that thing to death. But we're still loading. Turpits, can you make it out alive? Yes. Yes, well done. Jeez, there's another one. I don't even want to start to contemplate how much it's going to cost to fix up a battleship. Let alone that battle cruiser, because that's insane, insanely, insanely expensive. Um, yeah, we're going to have to make a run at the Vindictive. If it's going to come at the cost of one of my destroyers, so be it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. V15, no. I understand you're trying to save your hide, but don't. <laughs> as terrible as that sounds. Torpedoes away. <clears throat> now you can save yourself. There's the spread. We're hoping that the Vindictive is going to continue on our course, but I kind of doubt it. How's that heavy? Still two damaged engines, but otherwise fine. How far away is said heavy? Twenty-eight clicks. We're gonna blow up the light cruiser before she's gonna do me. Has the Vindictive not yet detected the torps? That'd be interesting. I need to get lucky once, and it'll be pretty dead. It detected it. And it's rushing to avoid. Oh, no, you're not. She just torpedoed the battleship. Turpits, we're going to turn in the general direction of the light cruiser. Whoa, that turning circle is outstanding. <clears throat> oh, shit. I might have just fucked myself. Because the light cruiser is now capable of launching the other spread as well. If she hasn't already. Oh, well, this ought to make my life a lot more interesting. Smoke. She's continuing on her turn to port. Where's your friend? 12. Get in here. Get in here. Yep. That is coming at the battleship. Range, 1400 meters, but the bastard's continuing to turn. And another soloed swarp. Okay, get it. Get in there. Torp the bastard. Torpedoes away. I wouldn't be surprised at all if the Vindictive is just gonna dodge, yep, everything. Ugh. That's annoying. 
Course correct again over to starboard. 15. Uh, retreat. Whoa, whoa. Hold your horses. There come the torps. Turpitz is no longer in that position, but she's been hit by a torpedo. Shit. From the DD. Didn't catch that. <clears throat> 12. Get in there. So far, I've lost one destroyer. They've lost two light cruisers. I'm well ahead on this fight. But we're not done yet. Accuracy is okay. But the 8-inch gun is running out. Uh, do we have eyes on that second spread? Get out. Actually, no, don't get out. Get that de destroyer killed. There. Hit. 8-inch gun. Come on, I need one 18-inch shell to hit that thing on the side. The 13 sinks? Oh, crap. The, the heavy cruiser got you, didn't it? Yep. Oh, that was careless. <clears throat> I forgot about that one. Uh, retreat. I'll let the heavy cruiser escape. There you go. That was the 18-inch hit that I needed. I'll let the heavy cruiser escape, but I want the destroyers and the vindictive dead. Dead. There you go. That did it. So now the Orford and the Swordsman. That's the stuff that I want to kill. What are you doing? Hello? Leave. 12? You dummy, get over here. Come on. It's hard enough with my own fleet trying to mess me up. But then I also have to dodge enemy torpedoes. Whoa, like those. Hit on the Orford. 8 inch hit. At extreme range again. 17 clicks. Surprisingly, the Orford survived. Ah. Look at that. Bedford's out of torpedoes. In that case, <clears throat> and considering she has a top speed of 26.4, I might be able to catch her. It's going to take me a while. But I could do it. The Orford and... Tw sorry, the Orford is going to be killed off by these two DDs. There you go. Oh, I could end the battle. Do I want to? Not really. Because <clears throat> I think I can still get that heavy cruiser killed, which would be a serious blow to the British. Well, let that last destroyer leave. That's fine. I don't really care about the last DD. I've lost enough DDs of my own. 26 clicks. Yeah, this is going to take a bit of time. Not too much later, the heavy cruiser, the Bedford, is bravely or stupidly trying to do a gum battle with the Tirpitz. She's fighting with 8-inch barrels. 8-inch guns, 12 of them. Pretty good reload, 20.8 seconds. They fire with uh, pretty good accuracy as well, 11%. And these guys are indeed capable of fixing flooding uh, and potentially doing some damage against me with their heavy shells. They won't really be able to damage the belt. Um, oh. Scratch that. They can't really damage the Turpits at all. The Turpits is fighting back with her 18-inchers. The 8-inchers are sadly out of ammo. So I'm not able to use those yet. Or, well, anymore. Uh, but I might be able to use the 9-inch wing turret. If given enough of a angle. Sadly for the Bedford... I only really need to hit her once or twice. That is potentially enough to put either the ship underwater, through flooding, or burn it down with extensive fire. 
Because those 18 inch shells, they hit so freaking hard that I have seen light... There you go. That was one 18 inch hit and it just put the whole deck on fire. That took 1,488 damage out of the ship and neutralized their structural integrity down to 34%. Well, not neutralized, but brought it down. Another good 18-inch hit, and she's gone. Oh, never mind, she is gone. Extensive fire, they couldn't get it under control. One enemy destroyer made that out alive, but we can let them leave. We have gained 3,151 victory points, which is 10 times what the British have gotten. The British lost 9 times the amount of crew that I did, but I have had to mourn the loss of the V-13 and the V-2. Turpitz is going to take some time to repair, but hopefully not too long. Because that's a ship that I would very much like to see back in action. We're slightly negative. 500 million. Oh, sorry, 500k, but that's okay. Uh, Turpitz, gonna take me one month. They're currently operating in the Baltic, and they have been set to Danzig. For some reason, they always do this. Uh, I'm not sure why. But, hold on, interestingly. If you fix up a DD, here, this is a normal DD. This is the DD that's being fixed up. It's about four to five times as expensive. But, if you patch a destroyer, or if you patch a battleship back together, it's going to cost you 100k more per month. That's it. It's the DDs, which are by far more expensive. All right. Pretty good so far. They have 27 ships. We have 47. Looks like in the next episode, we'll have to consult Dieter again and see what other weird designs he can come up with. Anyway, that'll be all for today. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon for the next.